Good morning, McCain. Today is January 9th, and it's a B-Day. Would everyone please rise for our Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Attention all female and male students. The school-based health center is holding a second round of groups for wise guys to be proud and be responsible. Each group will be starting in January 2018. All participants will receive a gift card and pizza will be served. During these sessions, parental permission form of ne forms are necessary if you are interested. Please stop by the school-based health, health, health center today. Space is limited. Recently, our news advisory interviewed students and teachers about the dress code. Here's what they heard. Hello, what's your name? My name is Mr. Curlin. Do you think there was any distractions freshman year when we didn't have to wear a uniform? I believe that you can look at almost anything and say that that might be a distraction. But in my opinion, no. What do you think about the dress code now? Uh, as a teacher, I find it a little confusing to enforce because there's like a lot of exceptions in it about what kind of sweatshirts are okay, what kind aren't, what kind of shoes are okay, what kind aren't. So I think that for a good dress code, it either needs to be like really strict or really, really lenient. Okay, and do you think there's any distractions when we have dress down days? Not really. I think sometimes like some hats get a little distracting because people like pull them up or they'll put their hoods over their heads. <laughs> oh, I don't. Okay, what do you think about the uniform? I think the uh, the uniforms should be changed. Um, but do you think it's easier to get dressed in the morning? Well, yes and no. Uh, yes, because um, you already know what you gotta wear. You gotta wear school fits and a collar shirt. And why no? Because you people want to be able to wear what they want to wear. What changes would you like to make about the dress code? <laughs> to, to be able to wear, uh, to be able to wear anything they want. Um, do you think there was any distractions freshman year when we didn't have to wear uniform? I do think it was a distraction. I think today when you have uniforms on, you're a lot more focused because um, you're all in dress code. Um, did you wear uniform in your middle school? Yes. Did you like it? No. Why? Because I feel like we can't express ourselves in ways. Do you think it's easier to get ready in the morning with the uniform? I do and I don't. What do you think was different in your high school experience regarding the uniform? Uh, well, our first year at McCain, we didn't have uniform. And then they, wanted, they switched it, so we had uniform now. Do you think you expressed yourself better when you, had not to, you didn't have to wear a uniform? Yes. Why? Because you could, like, you could, wear, what, you could wear what you want. Like, you could just like wake up and just wear, put on whatever you wanted. But now you have to put on like a certain, like you got to put on a certain kind of shirt or something like to meet the dress code standards. So do you like uniform or do you dislike uniform and why? I dislike uniform. I dislike it because it's like you can't express yourself. That's why I dislike it. Do you think it's easier to get ready in the morning with uniform? Yeah, it is. But it is. You stay over there. I think it's easier because you already know, like, like if you picking out your own clothes and stuff, like it's like harder because you gotta figure out like what match with this. But with uni, but with uniform, it's like all you gotta do is like, cause you can you can only wear like certain color pants and stuff like that and certain stuff. So you already know, like, like yeah, I can put this one and put that on. If you'd like to offer an insight to the news dress code, the news advisory would like to hear your opinion. At Harvard College last Saturday, a few McCain athletes uh, heated up the track on the coldest morning of winter. Sonestre Rusheen and Tina, Tina Smith both finished in second place 
in their respective 200 meter races. Additionally, uh, some stray sprinted to her fastest 55 meter dash. Alexis, Alex Davis clocked his quickest 55 and 400 while coming to first place in his quarter mile race. Great work during the freezing day. It, in hopes of qualifying for the state champs, McCain's indoor track athletes will look to improve their times at Uranus College. Wait, what? The coming today? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what that said. Yeah. Teacher, at this time, please send any student out of dress code to A23. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> have a great, have a good day, Highlanders. <laughs>